this song. Dude, what a great song. Th this song is like, it's like a study in simplicity. Just, yes. Just a very simple progression. Yep. A very simple melody, and it's just perfect. So this is Wicked Games by Chris Isaac. Yep. You saw him live, didn't you? I saw him at Golden Gate State Park in San Francisco, and he sang it note for note. Perfect. Perfect and killed it in the entire crowd. He had it. I mean, he had us from the moment he hit stop. And you know, and he has a doesn't have like a stripped down band. Did he do it with a full band? It was a full band. He played guitar like a like a monster the yeah, whole time. Yeah. He lived up the street, so he just walked to the gig, which was kind of awesome. amazing. Yeah. Like it was uh, seeing Chris Isaac sing that song was a highlight of seeing musicians play music. Yeah, because it. You know what it does? You see musicians do songs like this, it really puts the B in subtle. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you have, you have to wait for everything with this simple stuff. Yes. All right, so. It's three chords on bass. I do literally nothing, but I can sit here and listen to the guitar parts all day long because yeah. it sounds great. Yeah, so let's talk about what makes the song what it is. First of all, it's B minor, A, and E. Okay. You can suspend, you know, the A, sus2, you know, the E or whatever, and it'd be easy for people to think that, oh, this is in B minor. Typically, you're, when these people say minor keys, yep. they're thinking relative minor, the sixth chord. Right. But this is a two chord. This is B as in two, A as in one, E as in five. So this is really a Dorian progression. Okay. More of that story is, without getting too deep in the weeds, if you're taking leads, when you get in the neighborhood of G, play G sharp. Okay. That's it. You gotta, All right. you gotta keep it simple for people. Because right. that's what makes E major instead of minor. Anyhow, that sounds good. The part that screws everybody up, just me, I was trying to figure this out, is that intro lick. If you don't have if you don't have a guitar that has that bend, you know, that has the bar, you know, what do you do? So yeah, how are you doing it? So I'll show you. So what this does is if if I had a guitar that would bend down like that, yeah. my target notes are the root, the B, and the fifth, the F sharp. Yep. And what I would do is I would take my open B string and I would dump the bar. You know, I can do it with my guitar like that. Yeah. Or I can, since I'm going down, I can start with the note right behind it, B flat, and start up uh -huh. with the bend, and then bend down, and then bring it back up. And then here's the slick part. At the same time, what you want to do to get this F sharp, you're coming from behind. So you got to bend up. So if you bend, you got to start up on B flat. And as you're going up, you got to try to push up there. All right. Or you can do it like this. You'll do that bend. Ooh, like the that neck, one. you know. I personally like the neck bend one. Yeah, and it's a little more show-offy. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah. So if you get that, again, that's just the root and the, and the fifth. And then all of your melody lines just come from B minor. Again, if you get in the neighborhood of G, if you go down, it's G sharp. But and your main takeaways are that you start low. I've never dreamed someone like you. You're coming in for the first time. You're not starting your melody on the root. You're starting right. it on the minor third on D. Okay. That's pretty simple. And then when he does that awesome falsetto part that gets stuck in our heads in the car all the way, it's just same thing as the beginning. Yep. That is the part that gets stuck in our head. That's it. So when you play this tune, you just want to lay back be super subtle, and if you do take a lead, this is one where I behoove you to stick to the melody. Yes, like, I agree. This is this is not one where you know you want to be. No one wants to hear anything other than what Chris Isaac had to say on this song. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, on that note, let's play it out. All right. I'll do it with the bend for you. Mm -hmm. 